Hello and welcome to this video on personal administration in the field. In this video I'll go through the necessary routine in the field to make sure that you stay clean and healthy. For this I'm going to need some wash kit. The simplest item is a packet of wet wipes. These can be face wipes or baby wipes or some other hand cleansing wipe. They're useful for cleaning our face to remove cam cream, for washing our hands before we eat and also then for cleaning our feet to remove any bacteria before changing our socks. I also then have a small wash kit. It doesn't need to be terribly large and comprehensive, but it does need to carry enough items to make sure that I can remain fit and healthy. The first item is a microfiber towel. To go along with the towel, I then have some multi-purpose soap. This can be used for washing my hair as well as washing my body and feet. If I don't have the luxury of some warm water, which I have boiling at the moment, you can then use some waterless washing solutions. These are used typically with disposable towels and very much like baby wipes will give you a disposable wipe for cleaning your face and your body. And finally, I have a toothbrush and toothpaste, essential for making sure that I maintain dental hygiene when I'm out in the field. So, what does my field routine look like? First of all, let's start off with our feet. If our feet, are, if our feet are damp, if our feet are wet and sweaty, they can be prone to infection and they can be prone to injury. So it's very important that we make sure that we keep our feet clean. As I said, a simple baby wipe can clean our feet, but more importantly than that, after we have cleaned our feet, we must make sure that they are powdered and we change our socks and put on some fresh socks. So, in my webbing, I carry some food powder. Instead of carrying a large bottle of talc, I put this food powder into a squeezy bottle. It allows me to carry less in my webbing with me every day, but it also means that it's easy to apply the powder around my feet. So, how do I go about this in the field? Currently, I'm on work routine in the harbour area. I've set up my basha, my sleeping bag's out and I'm sitting on my roll mat. Therefore, I have a clean dry place that I can admin myself so I can change my socks, I can wash my feet. So, to do this, I need to take off my boots. And when I do this in the field, I want to try and make sure that my loose laces don't drag in the mud and don't get dirty or wet. So to, to make sure that happens, I'm going to tuck my lace inside the boot. I'm then going to put the boot inside the basha to make sure it stays out of the elements and doesn't get wet. I can then remove my sock, making sure that I keep the sock clean and dry, because in this instance I'm going to put my socks back on again. And my foot now doesn't, it doesn't go in the mud, but it stays on my, um, on my bivy bag or on the sleeping bag. To wash my foot, I'm going to use a baby wipe. Because I have enough wipes, I'm going to make sure that I only use the wipes once. I'm not going to use the same wipe for two different feet. So, where do I clean? I need to make sure I get under the foot, on the sole of the foot, in and around the back of the heel and around the ankle. I then want to go down on top of the foot, making sure that I've cleaned all over. The principle of cleaning is you want to go from the cleaner parts towards the dirty parts. The main dirty and bacterial part of the foot is going to be the toes and in between the toes. With the wipe, I then want to go round, enveloping each toe, making sure that I'm getting down in between each toe. When I have done that, I can then scrunch up the wipe and set it to one side because I'm going to dispose of it. With a clean foot, I can then powder it. The reason for powdering is it helps reduce friction when it's in your sock and in your boot, and it also helps keep the foot dry. A dry foot that isn't prone to friction will mean that you will get less blisters. To use the powder in my squirty bottle, I'm going to hold my foot out and I'm going to squirt the powder on top and underneath and between the toes. I'm then going to rub the powder in, making sure that all those places that I cleaned, I'm getting the powder to make sure the foot stays dry. With my foot powdered, I can then get my sock, put my dry sock back on again, Bring my boot out to the front, keeping the laces up off the ground, and I can then put my boot back on again. 
it doesn't take very long and the benefits of keeping your feet dry and clean will really be felt. I would do this with both feet. An alternative of using baby wipes is using some of that powder and, deter and detergent that I've got. With that, you want to make sure you don't put too much on and your foot gets too foamy. So boot off. Sock dry. I've then got my warm water. Because the water's too warm, I need to make sure that I get it to the right level. So I'm just going to add some cold water. With a mug of warm water, I can dip my hand in and wet the fruit. Then using the soap, just apply a small amount to my finger. It is concentrated and rub it in and lather the soap into my foot. Then using the warm water I've got, I can then rinse off the soap from my foot, making sure to rinse in between the toes. And then I'm going to use my towel to dry it off. Now, I have one towel for cleaning my entire body. So I need to make sure that I'm not using the part of the towel that I've used to clean my feet to clean my face with. So I'm going to de designate a corner and that's the corner with the tab in this instance which is going to be my foot cleaning corner. That way I don't have any contamination of bacteria from my feet elsewhere to the body. With my foot dried off I then go through the same thing with powdering. Powder the top, in between the toes, and underneath. Rub in the powder, making sure it's distributed all around the foot. Then I can replace the sock. And finally the boot. It's important to make sure your socks fit. If your socks are too large, what that'll do is that will create some spare material. That material will clump up and it will dig into your foot. Conversely, if your socks are too small, the heel won't be in the right place and you will create pressure points and friction spots that will start to heat up over time and will start to cause blisters. So, with both my feet done, I'm then gonna move on to my head and my face. And here, I have the luxury of being able to wash my hair using the detergent, I have a towel and I have some warm water. I can also clean my face, I can shave if I was clean shaven, and I can clean my teeth. All of this I can do with the one cup of water that I have. Removing my jacket so I don't get it wet. And my hat, I can then moisten and wet up my hair. my hair and face wet, I can then use a small amount of my detergent again, lather it into my hair and wash your face, just like you would do at home. Rinsing off my hands, I can use the water to rinse off the soap from my face and then using some cold water I can dribble the cold water over my hair to rinse the soap out of my hair. So with minimal effort and minimal time in the field I've been able to wash my hair and wash my face. Because my face and head are going to use most of the towel, I'm going to use the centre of the towel for this, keeping away from my foot corner.
my face washed, my hair washed and dried. I can then move on to my body. For this, I'm not going to use the soap and water method, but I'm going to demonstrate how to use the soap-free or the water-free detergent. With the compressed tablets that come dry, I can set them in the palm of my hand and adding some of the fluid, the tablet expands and becomes a wet wipe. I'm going to use a number of these for my body. The first one I'm going to use for my arms, I'm going to use for my armpits and I'm going to use for the rest of my body. This I can do still with my t-shirt on. Remember, you're in the field, it may not be appropriate for you to take your top off, as well as it's going to be quite cold. So, one wipe for my body, remembering to do your front and your back. With this wipe, I pack it up and I put it away to dispose of. The second wipe I'm going to use then, I can use for cleaning my legs, especially if your legs have been wet or your legs have been dirty, but typically your legs come last in the priority. The most important part is going to be in and around the groin area. So, there's a lot of bacteria, there's a lot of sweat builds up during the day. With one of those wipes, we meet, need to make sure we thoroughly go through the front and the back of our, of our groin area to make sure we remove any of that sweat um, and any of that bacteria that has built up. Over time, that can start um, to add in and that can lead to infections and all sorts of health problems. So, we need to make sure we've cleaned our feet, we clean up our legs, we clean our groin, we clean our body and we've made sure we have washed, shaved if appropriate and we have washed and dried our hair. All of that can be done within the course of a few minutes, not using very many resources and you can use this and you can use the water left over from cooking or from having your meal in the evening time. Now that I'm washed, I can put on some dry, some clean clothes, I can go to sleep or I can continue with work routine. Or you may want to do this in the morning. If you do this in the morning, you will want to put on your clean clothes, you will pack up your dirty clothes, put them back in your bergen, and you can continue on with the day's activities. So, that's just an introduction and an overview of personal administration in the field. Remember, it doesn't take much effort, it doesn't take a lot of resources, but the benefits of just being able to change our shoes, put on a fresh t-shirt, change our boxers and our sleeping bag, actually will make our life in the field much more enjoyable. Thanks for watching.